see those two sets of cameras. We run our new JD-14 engine. What's up, everybody? Matt here with Prairie State Tractor, and today I'm gonna be your chief combine officer. I'm Bradley with Prairie State Tractor, and today I'm gonna be your chief technology officer. And we are super excited to have this limited production build S7 800 combine here behind us, John Deere's new flagship S7 series combines that are coming in model year 2025. And we're gonna take you inside and out of this machine, show you all the cool stuff that John Deere has coming to take your operation to the next level with this machine right here. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's start off with the nomenclature or the naming of this series from John Deere. Going forward, everything will be S7 series, S7 600, S7 700, S7 800, and S7 900 to represent your classes six through nine machines. Every single one of these machines is designed to give you 20% more throughput and efficiency using 10% less fuel, big stuff. So let's start with the stylistic exterior changes that we can see quickly walking around the machine. First, I wanna point out our new Ultimate Cab and Ultimate Light Package. This is the X9 cab on this chassis. So we have one similar cab between our two model sizes, the S7s and the X9s. Also, just like the X9s have, our updated uh, liftable ladder with a better egress into the cab so it's easier to climb up and down. Our gall wing changes to match our next generation of combines, tractors, the John Deere stylistic decal that you see here. And lastly, that we can quickly see out here, your adjustable spout option. We've got this on this machine here, um, and you can't see it here, but our cross auger shutoffs up in the grain tank. Uh, those are two options we have on this machine. And I also wanna make a point that anybody running an S700 series combine can add these as precision upgrade kits or putt kits with their local dealer. So check that out if you like those two options, we can get them for you. All right, while we're back here, guys, let's talk about our updates to our residue management system as well as some of our cleaning shoe improvements here. So an easy one to see is we've doubled our air scoops on the back of the combine. There's two on each side here now. This allows improved airflow through the entire cleaning shoe from front to back. So that's even gonna help with our feeder house dust that we see on the front of the combine when you're picking dusty beans. This allows improved airflow from front to back um, and not so much swirling within the cleaning shoe. Also back here, you can't see them, but inside here we have a new redesigned chopper knife. They've got dimples in them, just like a golf ball. Uh, if your golf game struggles like mine, then you'll, you'll appreciate this, but they're dimpled like a golf ball to help them spin faster and create better airflow as well within the chopper. Also shown back here is our premium power cast tailboard. Now this differs a little bit from our traditional power cast tailboard, which is still an option. It, that one's powered by orbital motors and has hydraulic power suck to spin them as fast as they need to spin. This one's belt driven, just like our X9 combines. When you drive everything with a belt, you do it easier. There's less power involved and therefore the entire machine has a better optimization as a whole. All right, up top here. Got a nice shot of our engine bay here. So on our S7-800 combines, we run our new JD-14 engine. The predecessor was that PSS 13.5 liter motor. Now we've got the JD-14. The JD-14 is specific to our S7-800s and 900s only. The S7-600s and S7-700s will still run our JD-9 engine. These engines haven't really increased in horsepower. They've just gotten more efficient. We are 5% better fuel economy or 10% lighter. It's easier to get into the engine bay and service things. Everything is better. We also have done away with part of our after treatment system. No more DPF or DOC. No more diesel particulate filter or diesel oxidation catalyst. We go specifically just to an SCR where we inject our DEF and that's it. So we've simplified our emission systems and also helps everything run a little smoother and a little more efficiently. We're gonna get into some of the technology options on the new S7 series combines. We're gonna start with the outside. So up top, the yellow dome, that is an integrated 7500 receiver capable of SFRTK, just like our 7000 receivers. That's gonna push us into the future with John Deere technology, giving us full accuracy wherever we are. So up top of the machine, you can see we have an updated machine sync antenna. So that'll give us better connectivity to our following machines. And then the front of the combine, you can see those two sets of cameras. Those are for our predictive ground speed automation. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later. With the new S7 series combines, we have a G5 command center on our arm now, which is three and a half times faster than our previous option, has better upload and download speeds, and also we'll do HD video. In the corner of this machine, we have our new updated corner post display. Um, it's digital, gives us a couple more things than we had previously. Um, and this machine also has an extended monitor 
that we can throw any screen from our corner up to there. This machine also has updated radio uh, with Apple CarPlay, Android Audio. So getting into our automation package on this machine, this S7 has the ultimate technology package, which differentiates from the premium package with predictive ground speed automation. So our operation center will send NDVI imagery, satellite imagery from the op center of the farm through the growing season to the machine. So we have a predictive yield map before we ever get to the field. So that pairs with our cameras on the front of the machine. And those cameras will read out in shorter crop up to 30 feet in front of the machine to give us insights of crop height, crop health, and if there's down crop um, before the machine hits that spot. So with predictive ground speed automation, the machine can slow down to keep throughput at maximum for this S7 machine through the operator's day. We're gonna get into the operator interface with the new S7 combine. First, we're gonna talk about the harvest automation screen. So this is where harvest automation and predictive ground speed automation really live. So what we're gonna do is set parameters for grain loss, farm material, and foreign grain. And then we're gonna get a engine load limit and speed limit uh, for the operator. So I will note that these numbers do not directly correlate with any losses or percentage of farm material, anything like that. Uh, so these will have to be checked by the operator and adjusted based on their preference. Building off the harvest automation operator screen, uh, we're just gonna talk about the harvest automation system at a whole. So with harvest automation, the combine will adjust every internal parameter uh, while operating the machine. So everything from threshing clearance to sieve clearance, all of these things will be operated by the machine based on the parameters that the operator sets. So the only things that the operator will have to set before getting to the field uh, will be the external things like the rotor speed and chopper settings, things like that. Um, this machine will also, when you change crop types, will adjust all of the internal settings automatically, uh, just like our S700 combines. Matt, how do you feel about the new S7 combine? Well, I am uh, super excited, Brad, to say the least. We have the flagship product um, in, all of com in all the world of combines here, the best combine on the market, and we're taking our position and making it better with all these technology updates, um, the, the updates just make sense and the things that are gonna make us more efficient and carry us into the future. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to what we have here. So you guys are gonna see a lot more of this machine in the field with the technology rolling. Uh, so look forward to that. This is Brad Wink. And I'm Matt Ashman. We're signing off today with Prairie State Tractor.